Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Castile Killing Incans. We've got three... Three cities now, about to make their colonial nation. I'd rather westernize off a colonial nation than... Of course, their tech is not that great yet. Uh, their tech is... Well, we're, we're 4 4 four one four, So they are ahead, but... Not by a huge amount. Let's go back to improving relations with you. Now, if we weren't at war, we would lose the 25. So there's not much I can do to really increase it. Well, we're done improving relations with Castile now. And Castile has started yet another colony down here. Never content. They're very aggressive bastards. This is my land, Steel. <laughs> I think right around the time that they have a colony, colonial nation form, I might not want... Well, I don't want to attack them. Because that'll just bring in Great Britain and Portugal and everyone, but... I do need to get that colony started. Oh, excellent. This one's growing a little bit quicker. The sooner this one finishes, the sooner we can do Porto Seguro and get that adjacency that we need. Uh, full annexation? No, I think we're going to vassalize. Enforce religion. So right now it's animist and... Now it's Inti. Much easier that way. And we're back to exploring around this way. I think we're also probably going to park these armies over here again. Alright, so that's it for relationship slots. I can't do much else. But it's also very close that we can uh, annex these two guys. You're at 176, which is close enough with a gift. You need another 14 plus a gift. So, I could subsidize them. It'd be a lot easier if they were our religion. That was a big mistake. Yeah, I'm going to have to subsidize them. Oh, this tooltip, uh, is updated. 0.5 each month. Wow, that's pretty crap. So you're saying if I do like this, that's... This would be like roughly one opinion a year, so it take 15 years. Ugh. Oh man, if I annex anyone else though, I can't annex you! Pretty much never happen. Of course, now that we have cores, I could just... like, release them and then attack them. Cancel vassalization, they would be very upset. Lose prestige. But then I could just attack them. And, vas and then full annex it instead. The prestige means nothing to me. We probably still have a truce with them, I imagine. I mean, you did your part. You let me core and then colonize, so that was good. But also, you're the wrong religion. Still. Such a shame to get them that way, that far up. They've been a vassal for over ten years, probably, and... Well, worst case scenario, if I wait another 10 years, we'll gain like 26 bonus opinion. That'll be enough. So that means I only really need to wait like 5 years. I guess we just wait. Rather than attack them, that seems silly. 69 prestige, that's cool. Always nice.
Wish it was as easy for me to colonize as it is for them. They're about to get their whole Treaty of Tordesias thing. Fortunately, that won't apply to us, but... Must be nice, Castile, being Catholic. Having the Pope on your side. Pope probably loves him. Okay, um... It's nice, having control of those things gets us a very good chance of getting a favorable outcome. Getting stability. That should make it easy to finish this conversion. 2% a month, yeah, that's a lot, a lot quicker. Hmm. Nothing really to be done here. We'll balance those two out and keep on exploring. Looks like there's a straight uh, here. We'll just explore that way. Alright, so... You're at 153 if I top off relations with you again. We have a lot of money. You want military access? Sure. That way if you want to attack me, you've got to break it. I'll know when you're thinking about attacking. They desire all the things. Everything they've discovered, for the most part. It would be kind of cool if you're playing as, like, a Catholic nation, and you were colonizing, and you discovered an Inca, like, this size. Like, the AI was competent enough to build uh, a large nation and do the reforms very quickly. That'd be kind of cool. Like, actually face an Incan threat. Not a threat, but like a... If I was playing Castile, I could just mop the floor with myself, but... You know. Alright, manpower is, uh, gone. Going into a war with Castile would be horrible with zero manpower. And the fact that I have no manpower is a pretty good indicator. Lost to claim on all the stuff that we claimed from forming our country. Um, yeah, so. Five base tax and three base tax. Turn Bahia into a city. Well, it's not our largest one, but, yeah. We'll go for it. I always like when it's, it chooses the largest city. That's obviously the best. It's the best way. I don't know of any way to influence it. Priests inciting unrest. Uh, we'll just do the same thing again. Again, it comes back so fast now. We gain, like, what? Two per month? One, one per month or so? Annexed subjects just went away. It's perfect timing to... Rapidly, rapidly integrate these guys. Not that it's going to take very long anyway. It's only 50 Dipple points. Castile's on tech number 10 now to our tech 4. But we're about to get tech 5. 5 does not affect tactics, though. We need to get to, like, 6. 6, 7, 8 would be very important in the upcoming near future. However, if we westernize, we'll need, like, 5,000 points. And we have... 20 some hundred stored so that could be useful granted it's also going to take like 13 14 years to westernize so if we have 8 plus 11 plus 9 that's 28 points a month for say 120 months would be 10 years that's 3300 so we don't really even need a big stockpile of points so i might take tech 5 but i might not we'll see
I think it'd be better off going for the culture conversion. And, like, you know, building more buildings or something. We can build armories. I think I should be building armories. Yeah, I think I should build armories and all the things, actually. Now, there were a few provinces that it said this will not increase it, and I think that was these ones. Because we have manpower efficiency of none. It doesn't even show it, but... At one point, there was a manpower map mode, but it's gone. So I'll just have to find the ones that have a manpower of zero and cancel the buildings. Alright. Good enough. There goes like half of our money. Okay, they've got one, two, three, four. Here comes the colonial nation. I think the colonial nation might be easier to appease, but we'll we'll see. Alright, I need eight more opinion, then eight plus a gift gets us there. It's like three more years. Apparently our guys are having difficulty protecting their own territory. You gonna go take that back? You're gonna get broken by rebels if you don't do something there, buddy. There you go. Nice work. So, this will probably be, what, Castilian Brazil, right? Or Castilian something? Probably Castilian Brazil. Espirito Santo. Felipe Ponce de Leon. Doing his thing. Hey, right on time. Ours finished, too. Alright, well, we're gonna go for this one. It's too far away. Ah, we gotta finish the core. Hmm. Do we wait? I think we wait. There's no guarantee he's gonna colonize. Yeah, Castilian Brazil. No guarantee he's gonna colonize this one. Let's start immediately approving relations with them. Cannot offer them an alliance, right? That'd be silly. Yeah, they're subject nation. They're gonna become hostile. But if we can do anything to delay it, that would be good. And they took on that tech. Missionary strength. They, gave, they got expansion. Full expansion. Weird. The thing is, Castile, I only see one colony, and they can colonize at least three at once, so they should be colonizing elsewhere as well. Let's get this one started as soon as possible as well, or maybe maybe one of these. Alright, we're looking for possible colonies. We want base tax. We've already done that one. Pembu. Yeah, Pembu's pretty high up there. Okay, go ahead. And as soon as this core finishes, we'll start colonizing Porto Seguro. And then I guess we just have to wait a few years. Because we'll have to have a core adjacent to their core. Uh, 
Alright, so that's fine. Scotland has accepted peace with Great Britain. The colonization in general is so slow this game. It's 1516 and they've just now formed Castilian Brazil. Ah, okay, they're colonizing again. There we go, there's the three. Okay, well it's a good thing we went for Porto Seguro. Castile is still hostile, very hostile. Uh, you would totally accept an alliance if it wasn't for the fact that you can't have one. You have a loyal attitude toward Castile. Can I still see your uh, your loyalty value here, your liberty desire? Yeah, 8%. Wouldn't it be awesome if they just broke free and then I could westernize off of them? That'd be sweet. That's what I really want. Fortify! Turn Portugara. Um, oh, integrate them. Sorry. Well, I, I do want to do that, but I can't quite do that yet. I need two more opinion. Well, let's go ahead and take that mission. Why not? I think in January I might be able to do this. Nope. It's going to take two years, actually, because we've got to wait for annexed vassals to go down. I get uh, 163, and then in January it should tick down, taking me to 164. Might get lucky and it might round up to 65 in a couple days. Alright. We're in the home stretch. Nope, it did it just went to 164. So even with a gift. I gotta wait till January next year. And then we can integrate them and them. Which means we should probably improve relations with you a bit. Just to well, looks like it's gonna be high enough. Let's do it again anyway, just for a month or two. Stay friendly, Castilian Brazil. I'll also offer you military access if you'll let me give it to you. That way you can't attack me. Why don't you want me to support your independence, man? Stop being loyal. And why is it that I can't see, like, your liberty desire somewhere in here? Why do I have to know that it's hidden right here? Can we see how strong they are? They have 14 force limit, 3 troops. And they're on tech 10. Yeah, I'd say that's a little bit scary. I just need this, please. Right there. That's all I need. Could you please grow faster? Gain one base tax, cool. England will cede Laborde and Calais to France. What the hell is going on here? Why does England have Laborde and Calais? Did they somehow win the 100 Years War? Is that what messed up Europe? England will give Corps back to Scotland. They will... Okay, so somehow England won the war, but now they're losing to France. What is going on over there? I need to become Westerns just so we can see what's happening. That's so crazy. That is messed up. Okay. Waiting on January. Oh wait, you're already at 169. What changed? Something changed. Oh, the claim must have expired. Okay, well, let's start right now, then. Take advantage of this Diplo Rep guy while we still have him. Alright, so we send a gift to each. I don't need to pop up when I send my own gift. Thank you. Okay. We integrate the slightly larger guy a little bit earlier. Okay, it'll be done February. So we wait a few months. Four per month right now. It's actually not that great. Let's 
far easier to calculate it this way than the way that I used to do it, dividing by and trying to figure out exactly when it'll do it. So I appreciate whoever told me how to do it this way. It's definitely the better way to do it. So three months. Right now we're looking at December, so that'll be January. January. February. Okay, which one is it really? It's ice. It's, it's going back and forth between the two. February of 19. February of 19. Let's trust it. If it changes to, this, to March again, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. This should work out. Okay, another province just gains base tax. I love those events. Those are fun. Okay, we're about to get that one done. And you're going to take ages. You're just not growing much, are you? Damn tropical. Almost have everything down. Unhappiness amongst the merchants. We're keeping our mercantilism. On the hope that we succeed in westernizing and then actually competing with them. So, okay, um, just waiting on these annexations and then I'm probably going to take a short break. That also means we've got a lot of improving relations to do with these guys to offset the minus 60. But that'll be all there really is to it. You know, same thing, rinse and repeat, annex. And uh, if... Castilian Brazil stays... Hey, look at that. They're threatened by us. Cool. That's awesome. If they're not hostile, I love it. So we're going to improve relations. Again. And we're going to want to get bigger. Train even more troops. We want to get up to full size. Also, I want to disband mercenaries. Alright, do I have mercenaries anywhere? Oh, I totally forgot about exploring, didn't I? Looks like I do, yes. Why can I not click the button to disband? Did, did... you see that? Did you see how that button isn't available? It's weird. Okay, mercenary maintenance. None. Alright, we still have available... Eight more force limits, so. We we'll militarize like crazy. Get some more exploring done while we wait. And we can convert something. Alright, cool. I'm gonna improve relations with Castilian Brazil. I'm gonna improve relations with these guys. And I'm hoping that in the next video or two, we might be able to actually click that button and then start the process of westernizing and if we get really lucky and either Castile or the colony don't attack me for 13 years we could just become western and then they won't even have a valid CB which would be awesome um, they, they'll still be able to fabricate claims so we might still end up in colonial wars but we'll be western then so it'll be a whole new ball game alright thanks for watching everyone see you soon